difference by being like everyone else. So, have you ever been to the circus and wanted to know how it all started? Well, this movie dives right into that. But what did I think? Well, let's get into it. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for The Greatest Showman. I really do appreciate it. But before we get into the review, help your boy out by clicking that subscribe button. Also, click that little bell so you can be notified when I make uploads. And also, give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. Now, we have The Greatest Showman here. And I remember the first time I saw this trailer like five or six months ago. You know, I was very excited and I was like, okay, this is a musical. But, you know, growing up i really wasn't really big and into musicals but the older i got you know the more i did learn to appreciate musicals more and more and more i really did enjoy la la land that came out last year uh but i was not able to see still to this day les miserables that came out in 2012 that had hugh jackman in it as well because this stars hugh jackman and i still need to catch that but you know i was really looking forward to this movie i had high expectations you know along with everybody else that saw the trailers they were just saying like oh my god the trailer is so fantastic fantastic it's so magnificent the trailer itself deserves an oscar and so i felt the exact same way i had those same sentiments so i was going into this movie with really really high expectations uh the director for this movie is michael gracie and i am very impressed by this man because this is his directorial debut and for him to you know for this to be his first movie i mean he did a fantastic job he was an animator before this and also did some stuff with sound mixing and things like that but for this to be his first film you know i just gotta go ahead and give him a shout out thumbs up to you mr michael gracie you are now on my radar because what you did in this movie is freaking fantastic and of course what this movie is about if you didn't already know and also lines up with my intro is that this is a true origin story to the barnum and bailey circus or as you probably know the ringling brothers and barnum and bailey circus and it is a true or origin story it's so all in the perspective of P.T. Barnum, the guy that created it all, and he's being played by Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman is a fantastic uh, actor. I loved him, and of course, the Wolverine, uh, his his portrayal of Wolverine in the X-Men days, Logan, um, he Prisoners, I mean, uh, Real Steel that came out in 2011, pretty much everything that Hugh Jackman does, I love, and he did a great job with this movie. And what I say that this is a true origin story, this is a true origin story from his perspective, literally how everything began, and it starts off to like when he's a small boy, and P.T. Barnum didn't have anything, he, he was dirt poor, he didn't have anything to his name, sometimes he had this steal just to survive you know like an apple or something like that and he would get you know beat for it and being treated like dirt of course and i'm not going to say of course like that's a good thing and his father no disrespect to his, his late father but it's portrayed in this movie that his father wasn't much of anything either and they were just both treated like crap and that was just kind of like the driving force which pushed pt barnum to do the great things he did today bringing the great you know circus to you know life in america and also uh, worldwide and the way that the film starts off literally is in like you know a circus itself or like a performance and is a musical and michael gracie did a great job the way he started out this film i mean seriously like the first frame or whatever you know it starts off with a song and dancing or whatever and you're already into the film you know you're grooving back and forth in your seat or at least i was i mean that's how i was taking it in and i love that and then it kind of just took a break and that's kind of where we had the um you know the birth of pt barnum when he was a little bit bo when he was a little boy a little gripe that I had kind of towards the very beginning is is that they kind of showed him uh, or they showed us the audience who you know his heart was who his first love was who eventually came up to be his wife played by Michelle Williams and uh, she also uh, you know was in other movies with Hugh Jackman in the past one for example is Inception that came out in 2010 but other than just me you know uh, coming up to the conclusion myself 
and like a little shot of energy that P.T. Barnum looked in the window, there wasn't much dialogue or anything on screen that really showed him how show why he was so passionate and why, you know, he wanted to get into show business. I mean, he was kind of like staring at a window and just kind of had an idea. And I guess that was the inception of his dream right there. But I kind of wanted a little bit more. And they kind of brushed through that with like the first song in the movie other than the opening sequence. Nothing wrong with it. That opening song was great. But, you know, like 15 or 20 minutes in the movie to where we're seeing P.T. Barnum's dream come to fruition. I was just like, OK, wait a minute. You know, like this is a great dream that you had. But like, you know, I wanted a, I wanted a little bit more um, of where it came from. Now, this movie also stars Zendaya. She's been in a ton of Disney films. And she was also in Spider-Man Homecoming that came out July or earlier of this year and also had uh, Rebecca Ferguson. And I mentioned her name. Um, I, I, I'll bring it up later. And also Zach Efron and uh, Zach Efron is the um, he's a great actor too he, he gets a lot of crap but he is the one that came in the middle of the movie and kind of was you know P.T. Barnum's Hugh Jackman's uh, partner or whatever and he just kind of helped him you know get organized as you know P.T. Barnum was a, a spread in this circus you know worldwide or across the country first and then you know eventually worldwide something else that I really like that the director did and I know this has to do all with the director is his directing style and also the editing and that this just is not another musical you know for me at least to where people are just kind of singing and dancing on set but what he was able to do with the rest of the set design really made the film pop and brought everything to life for example there's one uh, scene where he's with his wife on a rooftop and they're just singing about their life or whatever dancing twirling around and she has a nice little dress and then it's flaring up in the wind but also there are key moments to where they have clothes hanging on a line drying and the clothes actually come to life themselves as well and is choreographed with their dancing and I know that may sound kind of dumb and corny but it is not or whatever and when they flared up on screen I was like oh my gosh wow I actually said oh my gosh wow that's actually what I said in a the theater or whatever and it just kind of like got me more into the movie more than I already was prior to that all the performances in this movie was great but from everybody um all the song choices were great as well um, I wish I knew the songs because I really was trying to sing them along with the characters in this movie but I didn't know the words so I was kind of humming to myself but at the same time I kind of had to only do it in my head because I did not want to disturb the people around me but it was freaking great this soundtrack is lovely um, it's like 11 new songs when I was looking it up and this is something that I would buy and jam it in my car or at home whatever time of the day or night I mean I love this soundtrack I mean it was a very, very, very powerful soundtrack. Um, so many wonderful song choices. Hugh Jackman can really sing his behind off. I mean, this guy is really talented. And, you know, I was looking some stuff up and it said that he read over three dozen books because he wanted to get the role down of P.T. Bar uh, Barnum. And that just kind of shows how dedicated he is to the role. I mean, we all know him as Wolverine in the X-Men Fox universe that's now going to be Disney. And, you know, he had to work out two to three times that, you know, two to three times a day, you know, for that role. And just, you know, that he was reading over three dozen books, you know, just for this movie as well. That just kind of makes my respect level, you know, for him and his acting goes up even higher. Um, also, there's a lot to learn in this movie i mean i'm not gonna lie to you guys no i don't want to say that yeah i'm gonna I'm save that towards the end but um there was something that you know th there's a lot of prominent you know figures from the circus that you know in this movie like the big like 700 pound man you know maybe a short you know midget or dwarf or someone that's you know vertically challenged you know a tall giant and you know a tattoo face or a dog or wolf man or the bearded lady i really do like the bearded uh lady in this movie a lot she could sing too she had a very powerful song as well and a life lesson that you can learn from this movie is just you know uh not giving a crap what people think about you and just embracing who you are and there was a about two key scenes in this movie right here that really spoke to that or whatever and to be honest with you it kind of you know brought a tear or two down my face or whatever i got a little emotional and so did everybody else as well skipping to the end you know when this movie was over people were coming outside and talking about it there was just one woman when she's like oh my god i love this movie it was like one of the best movies i've seen all year i wish i can go back in the 
right now and watch this over and over and over again. And she was serious, you know, and I, I she wasn't talking to me. She was talking to somebody else or whatever, but I was listening. I was kind of looking at her. And I didn't care if she saw me looking at her or whatever because I, I didn't mind, you know, striking up a conversation. But I was bobbing my head like, yeah, you know, ma'am, you know, I feel you or whatever. Kind of just kind of saying that to myself. Um, but you know, no movie is perfect. And there is, there's like two other little gripes that I have. And, you know, before I get there, let me just say this to kind of set it up to give you context is what's great about this movie is it did not show you necessarily, you know, all the performances that he had to come up with in the circus beat by beat. This was more of the behind the scenes and how he had to balance, how P.T. Barnum had to balance the circus life with his personal life and how both of those was pulling him in completely different directions. And he had to make some, you know, um, some, you know, last minute choices on what would be best for him, his family and the circus or whatever. And so that is something that I really did like. And a lot of other decisions that he made where they had to do with the circus people or his family, there were a number of conflicts that came up or whatever you know people just kind of falling out having arguments and things like that but some of the conflicts or whatever was resolved off screen because people were getting to it and they don't necessarily all didn't have to do with pt barnum himself but like maybe zendaya and another character or zach afron and another character and i don't want to like spoil it for you here but these characters were getting to it on screen and then like uh, on, yeah on screen but then like two or three scenes later they would be they would make up or something as if nothing ever happened and i was like okay did, when did y'all resolve this i kind of thought y'all was mad at each other and that just kind of goes to show like i think this movie it, it comes in in an hour and 45 minutes and that's a great runtime. But to be honest with you, I, I wish it was maybe 20 to 30 more minutes longer because it was just that great. I loved it that much. And like another gripe is when the movie was coming to an end, it, it, the ending was building up. And I was like, oh, no, I don't want the movie to end. I'm loving this. I want so much more, you know, and then, it, the, you know, it came to the ending and it end. And, you know, it had the subtitles and stuff talking about, you know, because this is, of course, based on a true story. But I was just like, oh, no, I want more. So. So the only gripes I really had in this whole entire movie, because I loved it. This is something that I will buy. Uh, I may even go see it at the theater again if I have time, because most of the time I really don't have time to see a movie more than once. And this is like a comic book movie if I really liked it. And I'll, I'll make time for that. But the only really gripes I had was the very beginning i wanted a little bit more on the dream of pt barnum and why he you know wanted to do the things he did they kind of just let you assume that also some of the conflicts were resolved off screen and i wanted a little bit more uh let me make sure yeah uh some fun facts some stuff that i want to look up that i did i want to look up that i did look up uh january you know this is december that we in january of this year 2017 it was announced that they're going to be closing uh i think it was in june or july i should have wrote that down but they're going to be closing the ringling brother and barnum bailey circus you know worldwide that they're not going to have any more shows that it's all canceled the reason why is people are protesting that um, it's dangerous and also uh, they really feel uncomfortable with all the animals because they kind of feel like there's animal cruelty and you know things like that so that, that's kind of unfortunate um, also Zendaya in this movie she was a trapeze, trapeze or trapeze artist she did all of her stunts all of them so that's you know like you know dedicating to your role as well uh, Rebecca Ferguson had a number of songs in this movie that she had to sing as well she did a great job she had one of the best voices in this entire movie to me and it says that she was very nervous singing on set in front of the whole cast and crew. And Hugh Jackman was one somebody that kind of had to come over there and calm her nerves down and just like, hey, you can do this. And she said that they really helped her. Um, also, this project has been a dream for Hugh Jackman since 2009. And so I'm glad, Hugh Jackman, that you really got to see that. Uh, I mean, you really got to, uh, you know, bring this to fruition. And also, this is Zac Efron's fifth musical. So, you know, if you like Zac, if you like Zac Efron and you like musicals, you know, hey, go look up his other movies. And High School Musical, I think, is one of them. And, you know, you can have fun with that. Uh, I got I really did enjoy this film. Um, I can't give it a perfect sc score because reasons that I listed earlier. But if I had to rate the greatest showman um, out of a one out of 10, I would give it a nine out of 10. Yes, a nine out of 10. But guys, 
that is just my opinion have you seen the greatest showman did you catch it early because i saw this a week ago i'm just now um you know doing a review for it do you want to see it have i turned you on have i turned you off do you agree with me or do you disagree with me let me know in the comment section below let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing if you like this video go ahead and give me the thumbs up if you don't that's fine also subscribe to my youtube channel go to my website check me out there and look me up on social media facebook instagram and twitter it's right at the bottom of the screen and i made it very easy for you guys by providing a link to all that down in the description box below also guys please share the video it will really help me out and i would appreciate it but guys thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for the greatest show i'm starring hugh jackman directed by Michael Gracie and before you go don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery and that's just my opinion peace